Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to share with you a quick tip on trying to help you free up the RAM on your iPhone 10. We were able to do this on previous versions of iPhone a little bit differently, and I wanted to show you how you can do it on iPhone 10 since that's changed a little bit and we don't have the home button, and that's what we did with this before. Now, if your phone is freezing up, maybe you've tried a couple things, hard rebooting, and it's still not acting right, we can flush the RAM. And this isn't something you're going to need to do all of the time, but there is a way to do it on iPhone 10. And what we can do is if we open up the, the app switcher, you'll see that these apps are here and it will flush the RAM and actually make these force reload. So if we go to say the app store now, it just comes up. But when we flush the RAM, it'll have to reload all of those apps in the background. So in order to do that on an iPhone 10, we need to go into settings. Then we're going to go down to general. Then we're going to go to accessibility. Under accessibility, we need to go to assistive touch and turn this on. Now, that's why I said you don't need to do this all of the time because this is kind of tedious. So what we'll do is we need to go to the screen where we power it off. So Apple's normal way of doing this is volume up, volume down, and then the power button. We hold that. So volume up, volume down, hold the power button. Then you'll see this screen tap and hold this, then tap and hold home. And you'll see it goes right back. And that's all there is to it. We can verify that worked by going like this. And then we'll go to the app store. You'll see it reloads. We can do that with other things as well. Maybe we want to go to, we'll say weather here. You'll see it had to reload. And that's how you can verify that this is actually working. So the camera, it flashes, brings up the program again, and we're in the camera. And now if we go back, you'll see that it's just there. It doesn't have to reload these things. But again, if we go back to the same screen and then tap and hold home, it flushed the RAM again. And if we open up the app store, it has to reload. So that's the way you can verify it. And that's all there is to it. You shouldn't have to do this all of the time. So when it's not in use, just turn it back off, get that off of your screen. And that's how you do that. Hopefully that helps. And if you have any other things you'd like to see, or you're trying to figure out and, and need some help with, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.